It's been 72 hours since a massive explosion rocked the city of Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. The images sent shockwaves around the world. Eyewitnesses are still emerging, but what's happening on the ground? People are angry with the government over the negligence at the port. Many accuse authorities of corruption, neglect and mismanagement. French President Emmanuel Macron is in Beirut. He visited the blast site to show solidarity. Vion has kept you ahead on the story of Beirut explosions. You saw the images first on this show, and now we're getting you the first ground report straight from Beirut. the United States to China, from Dubai to Belgium, to the pyramids of Egypt, the Lebanese flag has been up in solidarity all around the world. But here, three days have passed since the blast in Beirut port, and still many people remain missing. More than 200 people have lost their lives, and more than 300,000 people have lost their homes. Iraq sent oil, Qatar sent medical teams, the Syrian hospitals opened and the French president personally came to be a part of the relief, to walk in the demolished streets of Beirut and tell the people that they are not alone. Je dirais de manière quasi immédiate pour apporter un témoignage de soutien, d'amitié, de solidarité fraternelle au peuple libanais. Après l'explosion du 4 août, dans le port qui a frappé l'ensemble de la population et tout Beyrouth, c'est, je dirais, avant toute chose, ce soutien, cette solidarité comme une évidence. The world stands in awe, but nothing can change how it feels. In few seconds, all the story of this city and its citizens' lives rests changed and wounded forever. More than 10 miles diameter of chaos, blood and loss, and above all, Beirut no longer has an active port. It wasn't an act of God or a natural disaster, it was the act of leaving 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate ready to blow up at any minute. The investigations have started. The people are outrageous. Someone has to be punished, they say. The government has declared a five-day deadline to take the steps needed and put the guilty people in prison or to trial. While everyone awaits this trial in anger and sadness, the resilient people of Lebanon remain on duty, aiding each other, trying to push their spirits higher, looking forward for tomorrow. For the third day, the resilience of the Lebanese people persists. Many have volunteered to aid their sisters and brothers who are still missing under the rumble. Maybe it's not the first time that the Lebanese people have paid their lives because of the corruption in the social, political and economic system. But this time, they have the whole world involved. From Beirut, Ghadi Francis, for We On, We Are One.